on this week's episode of Live Large. So here's some footage from 21 Day Fast Mass Building. I'm working out with two of my buddies who really helped me pack some size on my calves. Well Vince, you've had a coach for the first time leading up to a fitness model competition. Mm. How do you feel that's benefited you this time around? Merci beaucoup Vince! He treated this like a professional. Like a professional athlete has a full-time job. Like his full-time job is to perform and he treated his preparation like a professional and now he is a professional fitness model. From a weak and scrawny skinny Vinny to 210 pounds of solid muscle, Vince Del Monte is now living large in and out of the gym and so can you. So here's some footage from 21 Day Fast Mass Building. I'm working out with two of my buddies who helped me bulk from 214 to 227 in the winter and they really helped me pack some size on my calves, finally. So we use this combo you're about to watch and we're supersetting high reps, about four to five sets of 20 to 25 reps, primarily going until we can't um, move our calves any further. And uh, we're focusing on getting extreme height on every movement. So we're getting up right onto our tiptoes. If you just focus on getting up on your tiptoes and going as high as you can and when you don't think you can go any higher go even higher that's the secret to training your calves uh, when you're coming down control it and get a deep stretch and then on the way up you need to get high most guys are just working in the middle of the calf and that's why they're not getting maximal calf development so think about getting as high as you can on your toes and you'll start seeing your calves grow oh, oh man Welcome to Ask Vince, and uh, we're going to hit a really, really um, insightful uh, topic this week, and um, why don't you cue me up and let's get this conversation going. Well Vince, you've had a coach for the first time leading up to a fitness model competition. Mm. How do you feel that's benefited you this time around? It's big time. It's uh, Everything is on a whole new level, and uh, I'm a big believer that you shouldn't have too many chefs in the kitchen and uh, to be honest you should only have one chef in the kitchen or else you're not going to make a fine dish and a lot of guys I find aren't getting results because they've just got too many chefs in the kitchen they're taking advice from way too many people and I'm a firm believer in having one coach um, I mean I should ask you because you know you hired a coach 21 yep. years of age and uh, working with a good friend of ours Dave Ruel who's getting you in amazing shape oh, yeah. um, what would what do you think it would be like if you had like three or four coaches? Oh man, everything you wouldn't know what cardio you were doing, you didn't know you wouldn't know what weight training you were doing. Everything would be muddled up. And um, the main thing I will say is having a coach, you're, you're never guessing. Yeah, he's he's been there, he's done that, he's had clients. So you're following a specific plan to get to your goal, and it's all worked out. It's all mapped out. You just need to implement it. Um, here's a, here's a really interesting point. Um, I bet when you guys before you started, you both decided on what that goal was. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So, so what's really important there is that the coach and the athlete have the same goal. So his coach's goal isn't to, um, you know, make him be good at kettlebells or a bench press. His goal is to make him look 190 pounds at 4% body fat on June the 4th. Yep. See how clear that goal is? Now the coach can come alongside and give him information that is very explicit and specific to his goal and they're working towards the same spot. As Liam said, I have a coach as well. Can you imagine what it would be like for me if I had three different IFB Pro bodybuilding coaches telling me what to do? One guy tells me to do cardio in the evening, one guy tells me to do it in the morning. What would happen to me? I'd be confused, I'd be overwhelmed, I wouldn't know who to believe, I'd be asking them to validate everything and explain and I wouldn't get anywhere. So uh, what the lesson here today is if you are, again this doesn't apply to you if you're kind of a recreational guy and you're just kind of hit and miss in the gym and you like rather talking about fitness. If you're serious about this and you're working towards a specific deadline, you're trying to get into a, do, do your first contest or photo shoot or a, a transformation contest, whatever then you 
you can only afford to have one coach and you need to fire everybody else at least until the show's over then you can introduce maybe somebody else after the show but for now pick one person to follow and just take their advice because their advice is being given to you in a context of everything that they know to be the best estimate of what you need to be doing of, based on where you're starting now what's nice about the coach um, relationship is that they can tweak things based on how you're changing so now it becomes very very personalized and customized to you so if you're serious about getting results whether you buy someone's fitness information product on the internet whether you actually hire someone in person uh, whether you work with a trainer at the gym I strongly advise you to put your trust in them and they've already done the research for you and don't question them if you want them to validate everything that they're asked telling you to do, then you're pretty much asking them to go out and, you know, do the work for you. If, if you know, there's there comes a degree. I, I guess one thing I've get. Let's put this back on a Liam. Um, you've probably had to take a lot of things by faith, haven't you? Yep, absolutely. Yep. I bet your coaches asked you to do certain things that you weren't sure about. Yeah. Yep. Right. Especially the car duel. Yeah. And, and, and when you're when you're hiring a coach that isn't what you do you just simply do what they tell you to do trust them and you have to understand that you will never be able to know everything 100 it's kind of like hiring a pilot to fly you to your destination he can't guarantee safe arrival you yeah. kind of have to put your faith in him and um you don't know if you're going to get there you know you have to put your faith in him and trust that he's got a lot of other people there safely yeah and hopefully he's gonna get you there, but you can't ask him to guarantee safe arrival. Yep. You have to trust his experience and how much he's done for others, and then uh, you just trust him, eliminates the guesswork, and tweak things week by week, and that's all you can do. So you'll never be able to, um, there'll be, there basically just comes a point where you have to put the stuff they tell you to do into action. Yep. And that's what you're doing. Absolutely. And you're getting results. Yeah, man. And you're gonna be UK's next top fitness model. That's me. That's right. Yeah, you want to see the abs? You want to show them the abs? Oh, see what you've down, got. He's sitting down. He's got this guy's got abs sitting down. I gotta show mine. Oh. He's there, man. Fitness Atlantic, watch out. What's that? Fitness Atlantic, watch out. We're gonna get my pro card tomorrow. Hope so. You'll get it, man. Yeah. And we're gonna. Uh, if not, we'll compete two weeks to get it. Yeah, but man. It's all about taking part. We're just gonna leave it all on the leave it all on the stage tomorrow. Leave it all on the stage. All right, we'll see you next time, guys. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Hey, what's shaking, guys? It's almost 6 o'clock, so uh, it's almost the real show now. We've got a lot of spectators. The place is getting... Crazy, and uh, we're just uh, doing some final touch-ups. Gonna go shoot with Eva Simon in a moment, and uh, yeah, we got uh, Cherry Dolls here taking care of us here. She's uh, fixing, fixing us up. Does all the show prep for all the girls and guys here. So uh, just making sure we look uh, flawless, as my wife would say. Okay, so what we just used there was a product called Dream Tan. We used a product called Jan Tana last night that was sprayed on. Pretty cool color, you can tell. Um, now she's putting what you put in baby oil? The gel oil. Oh, just some gel oil. See a little shine. You know, when that muscles are pumped up, enhances everything, enhances the vascularity, the definition. Little, little extras. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Vince Delmonte here, and uh, we're about to do a little photo shoot with Eva. We're gonna get some killer shots here, and are uh, you ready to do this? Yes! Hi, I'm Eva Simone, I'm a photographer, and I am ready to shoot the bins. This is gonna be good. Good.
Gentlemen, we would like to say thank you and congratulations. Well, you worked hard, guys, and looked really good today. We would like to thank Court for living for the one. For In fifth place, en cinquième position, compétiteur numéro 306, competitor number 306, Frédéric Fournier. En quatrième position, in fourth place, competitor number 309, compétiteur numéro 309, Wayne Sutherland. En troisième position, in third place, competitor number 304, compétiteur numéro 304, Vince Belmonte. Vince, you're awarded the WBFF Pro Card. I don't care about getting first, second, third. I just wanted the freaking. <laughs> if they gave it to 10 guys and there was 10, I got 10. That's I got it. Pass. If you really want I that just, card, you gotta chase the dream. I just wanted, you chase the dream, I you get wanted, the card. I just Straight wanted out. the card. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy got first place. We got the champ in here, the lucky room. This is Frank. He just killed it. He's going to be back for sure. So That's it. For sure. Yeah, thanks so much. Oh, so happy. Good job, man. Good job. Thanks. Um, I got the pro card in last show. He won oh, yeah? two weeks ago, yeah. So, yeah, two weeks ago, yeah. So, uh, it was uh, Connecticut. He asked Connecticut? me what it's like at the Worlds. I just said, like, every guy is shredded and they're good. Oh, yeah? It's just deeper. It's like... The caliber's higher and deeper. Oh, yeah, it's oh, crazy, yeah. man. So. Oh, man, I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Just so relieved. Uh, when they called Finn, when they, I was like, because I only looked, I looked to the side and it looked like they only had, they only had your pro card. They only had one of these with one of the trophies. And, and then when she brought it up, she gave it to me. Yeah, but, so but I only saw them holding one. So I thought they're only giving first place. And then when they said on the mic and he's a new pro fitness model, I'm like, oh, no. And then she brought it up. <laughs> Look, listen, you had the pro status, you had the pro look. They want you to represent WBFF, and you, that's why you got it. That's why I got it. That's why okay? I got it. Straight up, guys. I just got to get some. I just got to get some. Um, so I uh, had a nice shower here right before I put it this on. So I'm putting on some nice clothes right now. Not nice, but... I'm gonna get out of this. It's time, man. It's time to celebrate. It's time to eat those fries. Straight up. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, guys, this is it. Thanks so much for watching. And, uh, man, it's been a crazy ride. So, we're going to uh, start to celebrate. And, uh, hope you come along for that because we're gonna do it live large style. That's it. That's it. Chase your dream. If you want to become a savage, 
You got to train like one. You just, Remember? Yeah, exactly. If you want to That's become it. a professional fitness model, you got to train like a professional model. That's you got to think like a professional. And this is it. This is a professional business. If you think of any other sport, you know, fitness model sounds weird, but again, we're professionals, and that's the way you need to train if you want to be one. So, set your dream and chase your dream, baby. That's it. That's what we did. Believe in yourself. That's really what it comes down to. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Peace out. That's it. That's it. That's it. What's up, guys? So we're at the Fitness Atlantic Championships, and uh, my man Brock, all the way from Canada, all the way from the Hammer, representing, took the took home the gold, and uh, this guy is now your official pro fitness model. Congrats, man! Thanks, man. And uh, here with Craig here from uh, New York City. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, Craig and I took fourth and fifth, and uh, I just want to ask these guys, you know, mentally what. Did it take to live large to get to where you were today and uh, to get ready for the show? I'll go first. Um, I just stayed simple. Um, you have a goal. It was about two, three months ago that I started. Um, I hired a nutritionist, which I didn't really have to. I've done enough of these shows that I kind of should have done my own. Not should have, could have. And uh, basically, you, you break it down into a simple plan. You eat six meals a day. You find out when you have to eat them. You, you put it on a regimen and you first start with the diet. Secondly, then you get in the gym and do what it is that you know what you're doing in the gym. You gotta come up with a plan there too. I would say write it down. And then whatever it is, how you make your money, do that. You know, I kind of stayed simple. I was telling, you know, these guys over here that it was kind of a, just a, you know, I had a path, I had a goal, and I just stayed focused by it. And, you know, I kind of stayed away from the fun spots, you know what I mean? On the weekends, my friends were going out, and I just said, you know what, let me stay dedicated and stay out of the uh, hustle and bustle and say, look, I have a dedication, I have a goal. Let me go achieve that goal. That's right. So, hey, Craig, so what are you doing now? What's next? You know, came here. Um, I bodybuild as well, as well as fitness models. So I have a... Uh, I have another organization I'm going to compete with the INBF I'm going to go for the title of Mr. America right and uh, my first show I took a third place in the open heavyweight so you know I feel like it's only only up to go from there you know critique what you did there and uh, let the body speak for itself on stage absolutely hey do you see yourself um, don't worry we're going to get to you <laughs> uh, do you see yourself taking this whole fitness thing beyond like you trade oil full time you said you got a full time job you do this on the side can you see yourself taking this beyond well, we discussed a little bit off camera that, um, you know, I've had like my workouts for like probably the last three years and I was considering uh, opening up a business with that. So, you know, you can see what body I possess on stage and if you want to look like me, it might be something to do or you could take a peek at what I have been doing, what I do for nutrition and, you know, you could say you, you want to have people idolize you, maybe that's a way to do so. Certainly everyone has different goals and different aspirations, different body styles, different body lives, if you will. But uh, you can just see what a, a simple day of my life looks like, you know, for three years. Absolutely. Hey, man, it was an honor being on stage with you. You Thanks, looked bro. awesome, man. You really looked amazing. It's nice probably going to land a cover any day now. Um, all right, to the champions. Why don't you get in the middle? All right, bro. <laughs> uh, listen, man. Um, Dude, man, this guy's been training since August of last year since for August. this show. That's correct. And, yeah. uh, man, we've been, you know, side by side in the gym sometimes. I've seen this guy. and This guy sent me texts in his prep. He's like, damn, man, this is hard. You know, he knows I got Flavia. And, um, you know, he's been at it with his training partner. But, man, that's him. Tell him. Tell him what it takes, man. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll be straight up with you guys. I'm j I was just like you. You know, the viewer that's watching right now is just like the average person. And I gained a little bit of weight. I used to be like skinny vegan at first. I'm naturally skinny. Mm -hmm. I'm an ectomorph. But, uh, you know, just, just working. As soon as I got started getting into the working world, I gained a little bit of weight. I was traveling a lot for work and, you know, eating different fast food restaurants and, and all that. So I started gaining a little bit of weight and uh, I was not happy with the way I looked. And uh, I was having some relationship issues too, but that's another story. <laughs> um, so you just stay focused on your goals that's throughout correct. that. So, throughout that. you know what? I told myself, I'm like, I want to become a fitness model. And from that day, uh, you know, I, I researched, I, uh, you know, I was, I read Vince's material, I read, you know, material from all over the internet, books, fitness author books, and, you know, you name it, every single type of book you can ever read. And uh, I basically taught myself how to transform my own body. So, you know, when it comes to nutrition, training, like they say, it is, it is 70% nutrition. I got to admit, that is very true. It is 70% nutrition. And uh, I, I studied it all. I mean. And at the same time, I was training and I was trying to document all my, uh, my techniques that I, that I picked up. 
uh, through trial and error, through transforming it on my own body. Yeah. And I'm actually working on my program right now, right sixpackdomination.com. Yeah, keep an eye on that. It's coming keep an soon. eye on for that. Uh, we're going to help you get a six-pack. That's it's what it's all it's about. It's authored by a professional fitness model. And I think a, a take-home lesson here, let's uh, land this plane here. Um, he treated this like a professional. Like a professional athlete has a full-time job. Like his full-time job is to perform and he treated his preparation like a professional and now he is a professional fitness model. So you guys uh, got to get that mental switch. That's right. It's uh, you, not you a treated game. this like oh, a yeah. business, like a job. It was I treated it exactly like a job. I mean dedication. You know how you go to work 9 to 5? I was in the gym at the exact same time every day, yeah. eating at the exact same, yeah. uh, you know, every two, three hours. You I was eating. Slack at work, yeah. You definitely got to know what you're eating too, obviously. And I was, you know, when it comes to cheat meals, I'll be admit, I'll admit it. I mean, I wasn't really doing a lot of cheat meals, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's, uh, uh, he just took a one meal at a time. So he acted like a professional to become a professional. So I think that's a great way to uh, wrap up. Any other, any other tips I can give you guys? I mean. Uh, I'll, uh, ask me as much questions as you want. You can add me on who Facebook. Does your, who does your hair? I do my own Look at hair. this guy's hair. Me and this guy, I usually don't do videos with guys who are better looking than me. Uh, but me and Brock, we used to hit the clubs hard. And this is before we got into this like serious. We used to hit the clubs. Uh, Brock's Muslim, so he doesn't drink. So this guy, we would go into the clubs and he would drink like four Red Bulls. And That's he wouldn't it. touch or the water. booze. Yeah, you know, just water. And uh, man, he just came out on stage and brought it to life. And uh, that's what you gotta do with your own life. You gotta bring it to life. No one's gonna make your life happen. You need to make it happen. That's what he did. He made things happen. And uh, he's going home a champion. So. Uh, Dedication, Congrats, man. Mindset, I can't be more happy it. for you, man. You're Thanks a good, lot, man. brother. You're, and we uh, were texting each other back and forth, keeping keeping each other accountable. And man, this guy just kept his eyes on the prize. And are you are you going to compete in Quebec now? No, I'm going to go for the August show. <laughs> That's it, man. You're not going to do. I'm not doing Sweet. Quebec, man. I'm I got a chance now. So hey, so he's I'm out exhausted. now. I'm exhausted. So he he he's done. He's going to take a little break. Get ready for the World Championships, That's August 26, 27. In Toronto, uh, yeah. In that's Toronto, right. and hopefully I get my pro card in two weeks, and I can be up there with you. So uh, can't that's be it, more you happy look great, for you, man. Vince, I'm yeah, telling thanks, you, man. I'm really happy for you, man. Yeah, man. I'm happy for you. Vince too, had man. a really really crazy transformation. That's all I can tell you. Thanks, man. I appreciate Amazing. that. All right, keep watching, guys. Living large. On next week's episode of Live Large. Here you're going to watch one of my training partners do bent over rows. He's got some really excellent technique here. So Vince, what do you think that your chances of winning were when you did the um, Fitness Atlantic show and now the Quebec WBFS show? What's up guys? I got a really hot topic for you this week. And we're going to talk about the two different approaches you can take to building muscle. So we are living large here. It's the uh, after party. We just uh, doing a little celebration meal. You got to thank my parents for being here. Yay, we are. Experience Live Large with Vince Del Monte next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Click subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Don't forget to show some love and click the like and share button.